Welcome back everybody. I'm here to talk about some more Digimon Real Rise and we just got this banner. Uh, the thing is, I, I kind of talked about it in, in my leaks video, but I kind of wanted to do this solo video for those who are going to be like, oh yeah, these Digimons are dope. They look really cool. Don't summon guys. Don't. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't. As you guys can see, um, Bandai, I think it's Cryware. I think that's the other company. Nobody acknowledges that they're the real scums, but they are, <laughs> they truly are for doing all this to us, guys. Um, check it out. It's in the beginning. Next to Bandai, it says in the title screen, it says uh, who they are. Um, but we got this Heavy Leomon, right? And Beelzemon. Um, the thing is with these two, they're really good Digimon. However, we're going to get like, if you guys saw the leagues, we're going to get really good Digimons. And... Yeah, you might want to hold out if you guys can. I know it's kind of hard because some teams are already, like, kind of beefy. However, like, it's hard to say, you know. Um, Beelzemon's so cool and is really good. Heavy Leomon's pretty good. However, yeah, we're going to get that. Besides the point, don't summon on this banner, guys. These guys suck. Uh, increases your block. Think about it. Everything that's good, everything that you may struggle against, ignores block. It allows to you deal more damage to death allies. How many like really strong death allies are you really going against? Um, yeah, there's that. Um, and it's only going to deal a little bit more damage. Like it's going to deal whatever damage it's going to deal. It's going to deal 0.35 more because 1.35 is just 35 percent more damage. Maybe I think that's if I'm correct. In uh, no face freeze, who the hell freezes? What's the point of freeze? I don't know why they do like these Digimon's like oh sleep or freeze. That's so random. Um, but you know this guy looks so cool. How could you not summon right? But just skip. Don't do it. Um, these guys came out too late. To they came out an okay time. Whether whatever time they came out in, they weren't gonna be that good. They should have just gave it to us whenever the movie released because. These aren't that crazy because attacks three enemies, ignores block, gives a chance to burn. Okay. Uh, sub skill, attacks two enemies, lowers your power resistance by 60%. Two enemies, wow. Okay, you know, like, you know, if it got released back then, really, like, early, this Digimon would have been, like, really strong until, like, we got, like, better Digimons, which we already have. Um, so there's that. Don't summon, please, guys. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, this guy, wow, decrease your opponent's block. If you summon on those really strong Digimons that you may struggle with, you're also dealing a lot of damage because you're ignoring block. So this block thing is kind of like, but um, allows you to deal more damage to death. Damn, you know, like, because death meta is really relevant. It will be later on, but these decision ones are going to get knocked out by it. So don't even. You know, because this only applies to itself. Now, if you gave all your... This ability... Few, it it would have been better if few Digimon had this ability. Like, at least one of each typing had this ability. And then it gave it to all, like, Calm Allies. Like, if this guy said, Oh, gives all cal Calm Allies the uh, power to give more damage to Death Allies. This ability would have been really good. Like, straight up. Um, this guy, too. Like, oh, gives the power to only Brave Allies. That way you kind of nerf it to only brave allies, but yeah, they they did that ability really wrong, you know, they, that really needs to be kind of revamped. I, I get it, you know, you deal more damage to one, but like certain Digimons like this, they, it doesn't make sense. Um, Digimons that make sense on is like Armageddon, you know, to counter Omegamon. Uh, there was that, that thing, but um, overall that ability should have been like that, it should have been better. Uh, attacks to enemies, ignores block. Wow, you're reducing its your opponent's block, yet you're ignoring it. Yeah, and two enemies too. Such a long range, you know, like, no, not that good. Gives a chance to stun 50%. Not even a high chance. 50%, maybe 10% more than normal. Wow. Um, it's sub-skill. Attacks three enemies. Uh, decreases the tech by 60%. Tech resistance. This one's power resistance. They each go good on, on their own typing. However, they don't offer much. They, they could easily get knocked out, guys. So don't summon for it. 
It's going to be really disappointing because I'm going to see these in PvP. And yeah, these suck. I guess if you want for collection purposes. But I, I wouldn't suggest it. I really wouldn't. But that's it. This is going to be a short one. I just really want to talk about should you submit this one. And don't. <laughs> We're going to get to uh, another banner in two days. And that one might be even better than this one. I think it's better than one. After that, we're going to get another banner within like a week or two after that one. So be careful, guys. Uh, this anniversary, and they're really shafting us real bad. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.